Well, as we approach fall, we are getting closer and closer to that enrollment time for Medicare. Here to help us through the process and help us be a little bit more confident heading into that time is Misty Bolt. Good morning, Misty. Good morning. All right, so first off, I want to start off by talking about the difference between Medicare and Medicaid. Okay, great question. Uh, I get that a lot. Medicare is uh, a benefit, Medicare benefit, health benefit that you get when you turn 65. Okay. Um, or you're disabled. Medicaid helps fill the gaps um, if you qualify based on income. Mm -hmm. So if your income um, is lower, then you'll get Medicaid, which will cover the coinsurance, the 20%, help with the Medicare premium, um, and also there's benefits to help you with the prescription drug plan. So in many ways, this is the first step. Yes. Medicare is in many ways the first step, right? Correct. Okay, so um, talk to me about the process. I mean, so we talked about, you know, who it's for. It's you're for retired individuals, you know, disabled. Um, is it really affordable? What does it cover? Yes. <clears throat> Talk me through everything. I'm excited about it. Um, doing, being self-employed and having my own insurance, it's really affordable. For 80% of coverage, depending on your income, right now Medicare is $134 a month. Mm -hmm. Now it's income-based, so if your income's higher, your premium will be higher. Mm -hmm. Same thing with prescription drug coverage. Um, and the, after the deductibles, Medicare pays 80%, and then you need a private company to cover the prescription drug coverage, which was never, you know, Medicare never covered prescriptions until 2005. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. And so what is, you know, the soonest time someone can get Medicare? Um, are there different types of plans or is it kind of a blanket policy? Oh, blanket would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everybody's thinking that. Um, there are Medicare Advantage plans, there are supplement plans, and there are standalone prescription drug plans. Oh. So the Advantage plans kind of wrap um, everything into one. So you have one card for everything. Mm -hmm. So you have your drug card um, that will pay for your medical, your prescriptions, and anything in between, and add extra benefits. Like okay. Medicare doesn't cover dental, doesn't cover vision, um, doesn't cover hearing, and doesn't cover um, like gym memberships. Some of the Medicare Advantage plans will add gym memberships at no additional cost, because if they can keep them healthy mm -hmm. and prevent them from getting sick, you know, it's going to be better on them and right. then cheaper on the insurance company also. Right. Prevention is a big part of the key, of course. Yeah. Um, so you, you mentioned a few things that the plan doesn't cover. Um, is there anything major that maybe people would assume that it covers that it doesn't, that we need to be aware of? Um, the biggest thing that it doesn't cover uh, is cosmetic. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. No, that makes sense, though. Yeah. Okay. Now, say, you know, say someone enrolls this fall. Um, are they stuck with it for a full year or a couple years, or how does that happen? Unless they have a special election period, mm -hmm. then they have to stay with that plan. Okay. Um, so they may qualify in special election periods or if they move or if they're just retiring um, from group coverage or if they go into a nursing home or assisted living or skilled nursing facility would qualify for a special election period for them to get out of that plan. Okay, so, so a life item change. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. So d give me the details. If, if we still have questions, if, I, you know, if we're confused as we head towards, you can sit down and help us figure out exactly what we need. Yes. Um, I go and I see what their needs are, what their medications are taking, because the biggest thing that everybody want, needs to look for, do their doctors take the plan, right. and are their prescription drug coverage covered? Now, if, if a prescription comes on you know, after the plan, then they would have to pick a plan that was on the formulary, because each plan has a different formulary. Mm -hmm. So I would sit down and see what their prescriptions are, who their doctors are, and see what kind of coverage they want because Advantage plans are not based on age. Mm -hmm. So whether you're 65 or 105, most of the premiums in this area are, are zero. On a supplement plan, um, they're usually based on age or community rated, so they go up every year and it depends on which age you are on what, and then you'll have to add a prescription drug coverage to that. But you're going to help me figure everything out. All of it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So uh, give me your contact information okay. again. It's 423-240-0794. And then my website is mistycares.com. I mean, that's M-I-S-T-Y-C-A-R-E-S.com. All right. So open enrollment starts middle of October. When should we get in touch with you? Now? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> start planning yeah, now. Yeah, start planning now. And I think they're going to have me on again just to remind everybody Perfect. that, hey, if you have any questions or is this covered next year, please call us and we can help. It'll be here before we know it. Yes. All right. Then, Missy, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for going ahead and getting our minds starting to think about this. Thank it's, you so much. Here